this is Cash Cakes here, and thank you for watching this video. Um, today I am uh, gonna be doing my brother's sneaker collection video. It should be good and it should be pretty interesting. So I know y'all, I know a lot of you guys ask if my like si if my siblings or family members have like cool shoes and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it's not too much. I think it's like four pairs. It's nothing like, too insane, but they're they're cool. Like they're like all the shoes he has are like pretty fire. So um, we'll start off with his. We'll go from like what he got first. It's like most recent pickups, and uh, they're, yeah, they're all pretty heat. So, um, tell me about these <laughs> Space Jams. These are beat. These are like actually so beat. These are really, really beat up, and like these are thrash. Yeah, these are nasty. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, here, tell them about these. Like, they're like the kid size. Um, he actually has a big foot compared to like what I had back then. I have a tiny foot, so I guess it's not like it's about average probably. But what do you wear, like a four and a half, five? Yeah, I'm a four and a half. I was like a three and a half when I was his age. But uh, this is a two and a half. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think that's what it said. It's a two and a half and uh, Space Jam 11. He got it like a while after they released. These are like sticky. No, 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 never mind. That's just like the pet mother. Um. But yeah, it was like a couple weeks after they released, I got like five pairs, and uh, he wanted them. We saw them, and uh, he caught. I know he likes 11s, because you like the, the gym reds, right? Yeah, I love those. Yeah, the gym reds, you know, they're coming out. Hopefully, they come out in grade school sizes for him, because that's an instant cop for him. Because he loves those. Those are like his absolute grails. Um, he saw those, he's like, I need to have those. Other than that, what, like some in threes? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I got the Space Jam 11s, and uh, yeah, these are like yellowing and everything. These are beat. He wore this a ton. Um, you can play basketball on these, didn't you? Yeah, I just got so excited about them. Yeah, these are cool. Um, but yeah, they don't, they're not, they don't have a stitch 45, but it has 45 on the back. And, uh, that's about it. The, the, it's all a little different shape because it's a smaller, like, grade school shoe. But, um, yeah, on two. What was your next one? This? What's this? Back. Oh, these are all weirdly tight. These are tight and weird and stuff. Let me fix this real quick. But basically, he got a ro it's Royal Ones. Um, these are his Royal Ones. They're pretty fire. And uh, I have a pair of these. I have a pair of the Space Jams too. So most of the shoes he has, I have too. Um, but there are, I think there's one pair that I don't. But he's got Royal Ones. Um, his leather quality. Whoa! I didn't realize. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Like the stitching is like coming off. Let me see if that will look better. Yeah, so his leather quality is amazing. If you can see that, that is like absolutely insane leather quality. Like, it's actually crazy how good the leather is. That's like better than Shattered Backboard. Like, I felt like this is insane. Uh, base camp has, it has a couple pairs of Shattered Backboards, and this is like crazy compared to them. Like, they were amazing when we first got them, but he's like beat them, and now it's like insane. But uh, leather quality up here isn't as good. It's alright. Uh, but. These do look almost fake, just because you beat them so much. These are crazy. You got them from what? I think it was like East Bay. I think I saw a link on Twitter. It was like restocked, because he wanted these really, really bad after he saw it. I got them, right? Isn't yeah. that what happened? Yeah, so he saw I got them. He, really, he wanted them really, really bad, and he was looking for them. And there was a pair at our local shoe palace, um, but it wasn't his size. It was like a seven, I think, or six and a half. Or five, no, five and a half. Um, and he couldn't get it, so he was like, nah, he's like, I gotta get these. So I saw a link for retail with a restock that uh, East Bay and kid sizes. And I told him, and he's like, yeah, it's a cop. So he copped them. Um, he actually does buy most of his shoes. Excuse me. Well, kind of, yeah. Like, most of these are his school shoes. Like, he, like, wears these every day at school, um, plays basketball in them, so... So, like, my parents do contribute a little bit to them just because they're school shoes, obviously. But he had, I think, yeah, he bought these ones, and I think he might have bought another pair, too. But, uh, but yeah, these are absolutely thrashed. Um, like, the stitching, I don't know if you can see that. It's, like, cutting off, like, right there. Um, and, yeah, insanely beat. But, uh, the bottom is actually aren't even, oh, yeah, that traction. That traction's pretty crazy. Um, but, yeah, what do you think about them? Sorry, that was on your face. Okay. I like them, like, a lot. I love the, um, leather quality right here. Yeah? They're in that shoe. Yeah? They're cool. Um, the black leather quality isn't very good, just like mine. Um, but yeah, super sick. What is your favorite, like, model of Jordan? Is it the 1s or the 11s or 3s? Um, or 
At first I liked the 11s, but then I really loved the 1s, and I'm sticking with the 1s. Yeah. The ones. Yeah, the 1s are my favorite too. That's actually probably how, how mine was. No, I think mine was like 4s for my favorite, and then 11s probably my favorite, and then 1s are my favorite. Um, but yeah, the 1s are fire, just cause like, you can wear them with anything. Um, and he actually has some pretty fire, like, outfits too. Um, to wear with them, so. Yeah, um, on to the next shoe. He got this at SneakerCon Dallas, just like me. We got matching pairs. Let me lace this one up a little better, too. Um, just a little more, a little more presentable. Probably should have done this before the video, but oh well. Um, oh, thank you guys so much for all the support on that Halloween video. That got tons of comments, and all you guys like, super supportive and everything. Really appreciate that. I, I read all the comments, or like 99.9% .9 of the comments. Um, so, uh, yeah, I really appreciate all the comments and everything. I have had two people contact me who won so far, so shout out to them. I think it was Chris De Gucci. I know it was Chris De Gucci. And it was also oh who was it? It was Oh, um Small Buffalo. So yeah, small buffalo that's kinda I know. I can tell you more to laugh. But um but yeah, Small Buffalo and Chris De Gucci have uh, both contacted me, so shout out to them. And uh, shout out to all the people like mentioned in the video. Um but yeah, onto the bread ones. Uh, we got matching pairs of these at SneakerCon Dallas um, for a like, super good price. Um, not like, I guess it was a really good price. It wasn't like super good, but it was really good. Um, I think we got, no, nah, I'm not gonna mention prices, but it was good. Um, but leather quality on these actually isn't that great. I don't think Jordan Brands used good leather on like the grade school shoes until probably about the Royal Ones. Um, cause the bread one quality is like amazing, like even better than the Royals in my size and in like, um, like every men's size, but in the kids, it's like cardboard. It's like the mid ones. Um, as you can probably tell, it's not very good. Um, but like it doesn't go in or anything and you can tell it's not tumbled on the swoosh or anything like that, but it is still a fire colorway. Um, yeah, it has the numbers on the inside. This is a size, uh, four. Yeah. So, oh, the Royals were a Four. I want to say they were four. Or three and a half. Four. Um, I think they, no, they were three and a half. The Royals were three and a half. These are four. And uh, yeah, Super Fire Colorway. Um, as you just said, the ones are his favorite. Um, these are starting to get pretty beat too. Um, these were a more recent pickup. Still though, these are getting pretty beat. Um, like right, if you can tell on the toe box, this is starting to like fray. But honestly, I don't think it looks that bad either. Like I think it looks kind of cool. Um, Jordan ones kind of beat look pretty cool. It's starting to get pretty creased around there too. But uh, but yeah, red ones. What do you like about them? Um, they're like the same with the Royals, but I like these a little more because I got them from SneakerCon. So that was fun, that, like, they're like one of my grails. So, yeah, those are fire. Sorry, I'm grabbing this. Um, have we? Have you worn like? Have you worn them like this yet? No, I was going to next. You haven't. Though. Next year, con. Yeah. Yeah, this would be a fire. I did this at school one time. I wore it like this, and uh, it was pretty cool. But we could we could like twin. That'd be kind of cool. Like we're like same everything. And with these, I think that'd be cool. But uh, yeah, so on to I think the last and final shoe. It is. The Ultra Boost Multicolor 3.0. Um, yeah, these are probably, these are the most recent pickup. These are a size four and a half. Um, and a super fire shoe. He has beat these pretty good. Um, not too bad though, considering that like, it's primed and it's easy to like get dirty. And the bottoms are actually pretty clean. So I see you, I see you. Keep your shoe clean. Um, but like they are still beat. There's still a lot of scratching and stuff like that, but still not that bad. Compared to, the, to, compared to the other stuff, but uh, yeah, so um, he has these, it's actually a super nice colorway, and it actually like looks like really good in person, um, these are really cool in person, and, I, and when he got these, I was like, oh man, those are fire, and uh, I tried to put them on, I couldn't quite fit them, I was kind of close though, uh, but yeah, super fire colorway, um, multicolor prime knit, and prime knits on these are, the prime knit on these is super, super, super like soft, they almost feel like a 1.0, like the wool. I think that's just because he's warm a lot and broken them in. But uh, if you can tell, there is some like fraying around here and just kind of everywhere. And then up here, there's a little like piece of fraying. But other than that, oh, and there's some scratches on the cage and everything. Like that's like about it though. But yeah, the boost is kind of beat. Not really bad though. Like not discolored really at all. But uh, 
Yeah, that's pretty good. What do you like about him? Oh, wait, sorry. Oh. Sorry to interrupt. Um, but, uh, at base camp, he was about to get the sample pair. Like, the sample pair. It was actually it was pretty cool. It was, like, an all-blue pair. And it had... Do you remember it? It was, like, blue... It was blue. Yeah, it was blue. I think it was, like, the game blues, but it was, like, a different color because it was a sample. And, uh, they were, like, 260 I want to say. So, like, a good price, but they didn't quite fit. They were a little too small. So, uh, yeah. But shout-out to base camp. Um, but, yeah, he had to pass on those and get these. And, honestly, I think he made a good choice and got these. Because these go with a lot more. And these can on these honestly go with anything. Like, really, honestly, anything. Except maybe... Actually, no, it even goes with what I'm wearing. It doesn't look amazing, but it goes with, like, anything. Um, and, uh, yeah. Okay, now what do you like about them? Um, I love these Ultra Boosts, like, a lot. And I love also, like, the colors on them. How you can also, like, match everything, pretty much, like you said. And I love the Boost because I usually wear these for like sports now because just because the boost yeah very comfortable. yeah boost or air you have to choose you have to choose to wear one for the rest of your life boost or air dang hype beast hype beast no just kidding um but yeah well you can wear just a little bit a little bit you call yourself a hype beast sometimes, <laughs> sometimes? <laughs> okay um but yeah, these are fire. Um, I'm probably on the air side, just cause. Mm, yeah, I'm probably on the air side. But uh, caught him. Um, but yeah, so super super fire pickup. Um, all of these are pretty fire. You know, um, got the space jams, the ultra boost. Actually, I probably hold these a little better. Let's see. And the royals, super fire collection. I see you, brev with the heat sneaker collection. He's probably the only one in my family that has a, like a good collection other than like me. My dad has some uncaged ultra boosts, these gray, this gray pair. Um, that's, that's pretty cool. But other than that, I think that's about it. Excuse me. Um, but I'm sorry the lighting's a little off. It's like a rainy day, so it's cloudy outside and like the natural light isn't like probably too great, but not bad. Um, looking pretty, pretty okay. Um, so yeah. Um, Thanks for filming this with me. Appreciate it. Um, hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm out. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Make sure to go enter the giveaway. I'm doing the... I'm giving away a Supreme uh, headband. Like the red, black, white, and gray camo. Um, it just came out the reflective one. And uh, I'm, giving what, I'm giving that away. So go watch my... What is it called? Crazy new Supreme giveaway. Or crazy new Hypebeast giveaway. And what is that? I bought... No, what was it? I got some crazy Supreme, or insane Supreme, something like that. Go watch that video, and it'll tell you how to enter, and how you can win, and stuff like that. Go also watch my Halloween video, my Halloween video I did yesterday. That turned out pretty cool, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'm trying to post daily. I know it might not happen every day, with school and everything, I'm really busy. But uh, I'm trying to post daily, so I hope you enjoy. Say, we're out. Oh, we're out. Okay, see you.